In this video, I'll cover the Polygon Tool and the Star Tool in Autodesk Graphic. These are simple shape tools, but don't underestimate them. They can save you a lot of time creating very precise shapes for your designs. Let's start with the Polygon Tool. Now, I've already drawn out several shapes up here at the top using the Polygon Tool. At the very top of the window, you are able to control the number of sides for your polygon. So I can take this down here all the way to three. So the most basic polygon will be a triangle. You can also drop this down to choose one of the presets. So if I knew I wanted a shape, for example, with eight sides, I can just drop that down to eight, or I can use these up and down arrows right next to the number. So I'll just click and drag to draw out a polygon. Now, every time I select the polygon tool, it will give me an eight-sided shape, unless I change the value up here before drawing my next one. So now I'll take it down to three, so I'm going to make a triangle, and every one I draw will now be a triangle. Now this is a lot faster for creating geometric shapes with precision than using the pen tool. This works the same way with the star tool. The star can go down to two points, which gives you a diamond. And as you increase the number of points, you can see the different shapes it begins to make. You also have a control for the edge length, and this will really change the character of your star. So as I increase it, you'll see a preview right next to the points value of what the next star you draw will look like. As you increase the edge length, the more narrow the star becomes. By decreasing the edge length, you're able to create stars with wider angles. Now the star can also be a star burst by increasing the number of points. Let's take it up to like 24. And as I draw this out, you can see how you could create your own callouts or sale price icons. Here's something I made using the polygon tool and the star tool. Let me show you a quick example by creating a new document. Now I'm going to create it at 1920 by 1080 pixels, so a standard high definition video display. And the first thing I'm going to do is just change the background color to a radial gradient and choose one of these presets, maybe this gold one here. Now go to the star tool and you see it still maintained my last selection. So I have 24 points with an edge length of seven points. I'll click and drag to begin creating my star. And I'll just make sure that this is lined up in the center of my document. Now that looks kind of cool, but I'd rather this be white. And maybe a little transparent. So I'll just adjust the opacity of that shape. And now if I export this as a JPEG or an image file, you'll be able to see that this is a quick way of creating really dynamic backgrounds. And there's my new background, just by changing my background color to a radial gradient and adding a star. Now, once you create these shapes, they are paths. If I select my path selection tool, which is a on your keyboard, you can change any one of these points however you want, or select several of them and change them all together. Modifying or creating completely new interesting shapes however you want. So don't forget about the polygon and star tools in Autodesk Graphic. Thanks for watching.